Hey guys, how's everything going? I'm Jesser, I'm not tech lead. Today let's take a look at number 74 of least code, search a 2D matrix. We're asked to we're asked to write an efficient algorithm that search for a value in the MM matrix. The matrix has following properties. The first one, integers in each row are sorted from left to right. The first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of the previous row. So the order of all the numbers will be just from left to right. When one row is done, it will move be moved to the next line, right? Yeah, so in this order. We are supposed to search for a target. If it is if the target exists, we output true. If not, we return false. Well, it's pretty straightforward. It was just a typical I think it is a typical binary search problem. Like first, we def we detect which row the number should be in. Like we search, f uh, we took the first number of each row as array, like 1, 10, 23. For 3, we choose the middle 10. It's smaller than, it's smaller than 10, so it must be uh, in the first half. And when we are, when we are sure whether which row it is in, we can now do a second round of binary search and find the find the target, right? So it's actually two round. Okay, let's do it. Yay! Let i would be zero. Let j equals matrix length, right? For the first first round of binary search, we're not we're not to return the result immediate, immediately, right? We are going to find uh, the the range range for three, which is the middle ten, if it's smaller than ten, so it must not be in ten, which means we are gonna throw the right half. Right? Okay. So when we are choosing the middle of the i and j, we need to choose the ceiling, not the floor. If we choose the floor, we need to keep it. Right? If it's bigger than ten, we need to keep ten also. It might be in this. In this row, that will be that will lead to the infinite loop. So we choose the ceiling and through the right half. Okay, the search will stop when i meets j. That's the row which where the target should be in. Okay, while i smaller than j. Now we choose the middle. As we said, the middle should be math ceiling. Choose the ceiling. Uh, throw right half. Okay, goes number equals matrix. The head, right? So middle zero. If uh, number is smaller than target. If it's smaller than target, then we should move i, right? And uh, the i, my, m the middle, my, the middle, and i. Yeah, we just threw the left half. Okay, i should be uh, middle. What if it, the equals? Let's check first. Check if equals. Yeah, then, then, then there is is it. We turn true, and it's it's done. If it's a smaller, then we set i to middle. Yeah, for the right, if num is is bigger than the target, then it should be in the previous row. We are safe to move j to middle minus one. So when I meets J, row is targeted. And then we do a second round of binary search to search a target in the specific row, right? Let K equals zero. Let L equals matrix uh, I dot length minus one. Here's a problem. Matrix i dot it whether it is exists or not. It's if the matrix is empty, then this would be 
uh, undefined. And then this will be generating an error. So let's take consider of the edge cases. Now L, L should be valid. And then let's search. For this time about the research, we'll search whether the number exists or not. So when I meet J, it, there is still possibility that the number is the possible the instant target, right? So it will won't stop. It will will only stop when I surpass J. Now this time we can just uh, we can just safely choose the math, uh, the floor or the ceiling. Which either one is okay. Okay, let's choose the left one. Oh god, this should be K and L. If num equals target, return true. If num is more than target, be, so then we can just safely set i equals middle plus one. For the other case, we can safely check j equals middle minus one. So this is the basic form of pattern search. And at last, if if we come to this line of code, then nothing to check anymore. We return false. We run the code. Time. The first search we cost uh, log m to search the row, and then we log uh, n, right? So it's actually log m n. We submit. We use several variables to uh, to store the in store the index. The uh, space will be constant. Oh, we got time limit exceeded. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, we we get the seal. Okay. Oh God, my bad. It should be I right. submit again. Yay, we're accepted and it's uh, it's fast enough. So it's pretty straightforward. Just uh, pay attention to how we handle different kinds of binary search. For the first one, we need to keep the keep the keep the uh, the number which is smaller than it. It might be the uh, solution. So. We choose the seal and the throw the right right half, and it stop when I miss J. But the next one, we will search the existence of the number. That's why we will keep search until uh, left surpass the right, and we keep the floor. Uh, it doesn't matter we keep the floor here or not actually, or because we will, we will throw. We will give up the middle anyway. So yeah, this. Let's just try if we use seal. If we use the if we choose the seal, it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't change the it doesn't change. Yeah, but it mm, I don't know why it's just slower. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so that's all for these problems. Hope it helps, and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.